Hello there, my happy hedgehogs. We're doing another sketchbook tour. I don't know if you guys are getting sick of sketchbook tours, but I'm not, so I'm gonna keep going. So basically today I have this sketchbook. This is um, a very, well, it's not that old. It's pretty old though. It's from like, I mean, I'd say like 2016 or 2017. So I was in high school. I was 16 or 17. I was like, oh my God. I was so annoying in high school, like so annoying. I was so annoying, but, <laughs> and this, this sketchbook is a product of my high school annoyingness, but I mean, I kind of like the art in here. It's kind of charming. Uh, so to start off, this is, this is the sketchbook. Uh, it has my name on it. It has some chickens. Uh, <laughs> so that's kind of cool, I guess. I know the first page has my actual name on it, so I'm going to skip that. Uh, okay, so this page I put some uh, fortunes and this was a play I was in in high school, this program. I'm not going to open it because I don't feel like it. I don't want to relive that. Here's some Harry Potter fan art. <laughs> I always like, I always thought it was funny that scene where Dumbledore like screams at Harry about his name being in the Goblet of Fire. And he's like, Harry Potter, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? So... <laughs> I, I guess I, I just made that joke on this page. So I drew Hedwig, I drew Scabbers, and I drew Harry. Oh, something's paper clipped to the next page. It's just another random picture. So when I was in high school, I liked Attack on Titan a lot. Like, I would watch a lot of Attack on Titan, and I'm not a very, like, I'm not a good TV watcher. Like, I watched Avatar, but that, like, I, I don't watch TV a lot. I don't watch shows because... Like, the reason I watch, the reason I don't watch shows is, like, kind of pathetic. It's because I just get so emotionally invested in it that it makes me really sad when the show's over. <laughs> and I just, I don't know, like, I just really feel for the characters, and I miss them when it's over, so, it, and, you know, it just, just makes me feel sad. So, anyway, yeah, so I watched a lot of Attack on Titan, and that's Armin, I drew Armin. So here's um, some over the garden wall fan art. There's a lot of fan art in this sketchbook. Here's some Les Mis fan art. This is Gavroche. He's my favorite Les Mis character. And this is one of the lines he sings. He's just a sweet little boy, you know? He just, I just want the best for him, you know? <laughs> I just I just want him to be happy. Um, this page, I didn't really do much with this, but I drew a little bear in some winter clothes. Um, out of this world, wow, I guess this was, um, like, concept art, not concept art, like a rough thumbnail of, like, what would be right here, but I ripped it out because I gave it to somebody. Here's some more Armin fan art, because I loved Armin, he was my favorite character. Ha! <laughs> Here's some My Little Pony <laughs> fan art. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't thought about My Little Pony in, like, a hundred years. Here's a mountain. Um, I don't know what this is fan art of. I'm guessing it's fan art of something. Here's some uh, oh, Adventure Time fan art. Wow, I was very into fan art. Here's some more Adventure Time fan art. Um, that's a Neopet. <laughs> Why did I, I just, I, I like Neopets. Okay, there's another Neopet. Another Neopet. Well, that's the same Neopet. Oh, there's some Gravity Falls fan art. Wow, I was really into lots of shows. That's Lord of the Flies fan art because we were reading the book in school at the time. Um, yeah, so here's uh, some art of a character that I made. So when I was like, I don't know, I was like 15, I wrote a rough draft for a novel and it was pretty short. I don't even, like, it was technically, it was technically a full-length novel, but it was a short novel. It was 50,000 words, and this was my main character, so I was just drawing her. Here's, um, some space cats and some Adventure Time fan art. So yeah, this is an old sketchbook. Here's, um, another drawing of the character from the book that I wrote, and here's, here is she again. And there she be, again. And, oh, that's some Undertale fan art. And this is more Les Mis fan art. That's Cosette. And this lovely abomination. I don't even know what that is, honestly. 
cats. <laughs> There's not much else to say about that. Just some cats. Here's um, some more art. This was, I think, probably a character of some sort. I don't really remember making her. Here's more of that character. And here's some more of that character looking very, um, I don't know, emo. This was another character from the book that I was writing. And I don't know who that is, honestly. Um, oh, <laughs> so I was taking a coding class. So I was learning Python. And um, this was a function that I made up. And I called it a function. Because, <laughs> God, I was so edgy. But I called it my function. Because <laughs> cause it was a pun. And it printed the word fuck like a billion times. So basically what this did was from time import sleep. Like if you don't know what Python is. Like from time import sleep is just like. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. But basically it makes it like kind of lag a little bit. So this was just. Basically what it would do was a thousand times. It would just print the word fuck over and over. Like one after another. So. <laughs> Great. Good job, cat. You did it. So here's just some more characters, I guess. Here's some Gravity Falls fan art. That looks like Undertale fan art. I don't know who this is. Um, oh, this was the logo for the band that does Ocean Man. <laughs> and this was like an edgy wolf OC. No, I'm just kidding. It was just an edgy wolf. Not an OC. Here's some more art. This was a character that I had back then. He was cool, I guess. I guess it was Groundhog Day that day when I drew this. Uh, here's some more art of one of the characters from the book I was writing. Oh, so I got some awesome gel pens. Um, let's see what I wrote. I wrote good morning. I wrote gel pens are cool. I wrote cat is a cool cat. I wrote good afternoon. I wrote glitter because this one's glittery. <laughs> it's pretty. I wrote good evening. I wrote neon. Um, I wrote algebraic. I wrote, I love rainbows. I wrote, appreciate orange, because orange was my favorite color at the time. I wrote, vive la France, because I loved Les Mis at the time, and I still do. I wrote, greens, greens, nothing but greens, because that's a quote from Into the Woods. And I wrote, good night. <laughs> um, I, uh, just more gel pen art, I guess. Okay, so that was from Attack on Titan. There was like this Tumblr post or something and it was like, oh, this would be Armin's tr twin brother, leg out. <laughs> it was so stupid. I thought it was funny though. That's more Adventure Time fan art. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this? I guess I was upset that my... <laughs> <laughs> I guess I was upset that my pens were smudging. I wrote, okay, I wrote a poem up here about my pen smudging. It says, why am I alive? Why can't I art without my gosh darn pen smudging my work? I worked so hard on this sketch. How come it never works out? How come everything smudges? I'm really angry. If you couldn't already tell, I just wanted something to show the kids at school. <laughs> now all I have is an angry heart and a stupid poem. <laughs> this is why I lost the art contest at school. Oh yeah, so there was an art contest at school that I lost <laughs> at the time. But that was whatever, you know. People lose. I, everyone loses all the time. And sometimes you win too, so. I guess um, here's some cats and there's that burger guy from um, Undertale. Here's some more Adventure Time fan art in crayon. Because I thought it was so cool that I could be able to, like, draw stuff in crayon. Here's some more Adventure Time fan art. Wow, I was really into Adventure Time. I don't even remember very much of what happened in that show. I think I only watched a few episodes. There's some more Over the Garden Wall fan art. Another show that I just completely forgot about for a long time. Here's some more, um, characters, I guess. I don't know. I don't know who they are. Uh, I guess I wasn't happy with this drawing. And another drawing. It looks like I kind of gave up on this sketchbook. The end. Shopping list. Thing at jewelry store. Sh uh, stop by dress place. Shoes. Eggs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's the end of the sketchbook. Oh, and I guess I also did, um, I tried to do a bullet journal for a while. 
So I would do like um, one of those pages where you would say like how you were feeling every day of the every day of the year. So I didn't finish that evidently. Um, but yeah, that's the sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my high school emo ness and cringiness. Um, <laughs> And if you like any of the things that I drew in this sketchbook, like, that's okay. Like, I'm not calling you cringy. I'm just saying that, I mean, I think everyone thinks they're cringy when they were in high school. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's the sketchbook tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I actually kind of liked my style back then. I thought it was kind of cute. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you so much for watching it. If you're one of my friends who was around for that phase of high school, hi. <laughs> Maybe you'll see something you remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all I have to say. Goodbye.